buildings here. So it's going to get started before the heat and I do not blame them. Uh, this is, this is going to be cold. Um, I just got to get my bearings together here because I wasn't expecting them to be here so early. But I'm glad they are here because it's supposed to be uh, 100 degrees today. That's obviously the framing of the building, a couple of the garage doors. And uh, they're kind of getting everything set up over there, put the slab. And uh, I think I gotta go cut a pipe, but that's about it. So, anyway, I'll see y'all just a little bit. All right, here's the deal. <laughs> I work today. I should have taken today off, but I have to work today. But I do work from home, so there's there is that. So I'm gonna be here to be able to film some of the building and stuff like that. I'm upstairs in one of my guest rooms at my house and uh, I'm gonna set up the time lapse out the window uh, so you guys can see them building the shop. And I was just checking to see that you'll be able to see some stuff pretty easily. It looks like it. So I'm working on uh, working on getting cameras and stuff ready, which I thought I had last night, but it turns out some of the uh, batteries are dead. So. <laughs> Oh well, this is just how these things go, um, but I did take tomorrow off, so we're going to get a full in-depth tour because it's supposed to be done tomorrow. So anyway, we're going to start up here and uh, watch these guys do their work. They're, like I said, they're here early to try to beat the heat. It's supposed to be 100 degrees today. You can see them starting to bring in some panels and get organized and looks like it's going to be a big old Lego set kind of sort of thing. Looks like right now they're going to cover up the first uh, uh, gable there I guess you could call it I don't I don't know the terms I might be calling it wrong y'all can tell me but all right fantastic So they've been here working maybe two hours and they've already got a whole bunch of rungs up. It's looking really, really good. Oop, let me get out their way. They've got everything up. That is awesome. Check that out. These guys are quick. Very, very quick. And it looks good.
All right, another quick update. They are about four hours in and they are just absolutely killing it. Starting to put siding on. They got all the stringers up. They've already put some siding on here. I think these are stringers. I think. I might be having the wrong terminology, but man. These guys are fast. They're good. They know their stuff. Awesome. Alright, these guys have been at it for about six hours now. And uh, I will not be surprised if they finish today. Still got a man door to put in here. But uh, most of the roof is up, I believe. Or half of it is up. That's awesome. So cool. Well, I'm trying to stay out of their way because they're still busy, but all the walls are up. They're putting the trim on now. I don't, they might have this thing done today. Maybe tomorrow. They still have the doors and stuff to put in. I don't know how difficult that is, but they're putting the trim on. Um, they've got to cut out the man door. But, man, they have just been killing it on everything. It looks fantastic it's already friggin built it's 100 degrees outside so bless bless them because that's uh it's rough i got them some more water hope they stay hydrated and safe because it's not cool out it's not bad in the shade though but it's a little warm in that in that building definitely going to need some insulation but uh yeah this is just so exciting can't wait to to really start doing some projects and everything in here this is going to be super super rad anyway get back to it ever since i was 15 16 years old and i started getting into cars i just always knew that one day i'd want my own shop what a day, what a journey, what a 
just just an awesome awesome day for me this is a dream come true shop is done these guys knocked it out in 12 hours start to finish and it's all done and we're gonna walk in for the first time with you guys 30 by 40 by 12 nope I'm sorry 30 by 50 by 12 and uh it's 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 constructed i guess you could say um there's another word for that that sounds a little bit more dirty that i'm not gonna say <laughs> but here we are still gotta run some electrical to it and do some insulating it actually is kind of warm in here you can tell that the roof is gonna need some insulation but i got some plans you know we're gonna i gotta do some research on some lights i think i like the ones that taylor ray installed on his channel when he did his garage i think that's what i'm going to do in here um but we still have to figure out what we're going to do with our electrical we're trying to get some information on that my father-in-law is going to come out and kind of take a peek at it uh we're not doing plumbing for a little while but it's here so i'll eventually have to cut that stuff down and just kind of cap it for now which uh, i was planning on doing so that's not a huge deal um anyway so that's on that uh, man doors there works good it opens outward and I think that's by design but I'm not sure so I'm a little bit confused by it but I did it did put a window in it so there's at least one window in the building right so uh, plans are for coming up too long this corner here and this is where we're gonna work on whatever project we're working on in kind of this space so I'm gonna have my toolboxes and everything we need here. Uh, my tables, my benches, eventually a welder. I'm trying to figure out where to put a plug for a welder. Probably gonna put the plug there and maybe one on the other side, we'll see. I have to map out where we're gonna put our electrical outlets. I wanna do probably every other, every other pole till you get close to the front. And then I want one pretty much everywhere back here. Um, at least from this pole forward so when my bench area is here I can plug in just about anywhere so that's going to be coming in a little while probably not for a decent amount of time because we've got to figure out the whole wiring situation and that's going to take a little while and it's really really hot and uh, well we're going to do that when we can um, also I think I said in another video um, the concrete video i've injured myself and i have to go see a doctor for that and try to get um that fixed which i'm not looking forward to before i get into any heavy lifting of objects and things like that so it's going to be a little bit before i fully get moved in here i was going to uh hold off and not put anything in here till we were ready but i'm too excited i gotta put a car in here so i think it's time to get the nova out and pull her in so let me get to that the inaugural car in the shop and uh yeah i think we'll call it I've just been playing out here <laughs> i got the magnum out here got the nova out here trying to see the size what we got definitely more room for another car there and another car here if we need it or wherever else we need to put it we need to put it here or wherever definitely can put four cars in here comfortably and probably work on one and that was my goal i don't know if the magnum's going to stay here in the garage but i've got a lot of cleaning to do in the garage and uh, with that out of my way and the Nova out of the way, I can get that done. This, this, oh, happy day. This, this thing is done. Let me, just in case y'all hadn't seen it out here, that's the back side of it. So, I've got, obviously, I got a door on this corner. 
and uh, I wanted to be able to have some straight through air and then also pull through if I need to for my trailers um, and then the side one one on the side door too eventually we'll pull some dirt in here and maybe even a, another concrete pad going up to it so we can pull in and out of this way um, I do really want to do a 10 foot awning eventually that comes out so I can park trailers here and stuff like that but right now it's okay um, side door you guys already saw and uh, I think you definitely seen the front already I like the white trim my wife picked all out all the colors and they match the house really well and it looks good so it's a little bright on the camera it's not quite this bright in person but here we go so that's uh that's where i'm going to stop it off on this one i just i can't believe this thing is done uh even though i didn't do any of this work for this part it was a pretty big job but it really only took four days uh thanks to some awesome crews but what i mean by that is i think now the hard part starts because i've got to run electrical lights conduit that whole thing and figure and just figure out how all this is all going to work so um that's going to be a task and i want you guys to stick around for that let me know what you think of the new shop leave a comment down there and if you have any suggestions on some things let me know uh again if i didn't say it earlier i'm gonna try to build a loft and eventually we'll have a two post lift i'm oh, sorry a four post lift i'm not doing two post don't try to talk me into it i'm not doing the two post lift doing a four post i'm gonna drive on be good anyway rant over this is awesome i'm very counting my blessings right now and uh if you're out there and you want something like this just stick with it make sure you buy a house that can accommodate it you know you have some, you know uh, either a decent bit of land or the ability to do it in the neighborhood that you're looking at i, I don't really have any suggestions just stick with it and, and uh, you can you can get it especially if it's a dream you can get it this is this is very eye-opening for me and i'm just blathering away at it and you know i'm gonna do that today <laughs> so thanks for coming along there's gonna be more of the shop project coming because like i said we still gotta run a lot of stuff um get insulation done and things like that and i'd like to show you that process as much as i can and uh yeah i'm gonna I'm going to get to kind of closing this thing down because we've got uh, some plans tonight. And um, yeah, so thanks for coming along. If you have not yet subscribed, please consider doing so. We're obviously more about cars than we are shops, but right now we're more about shops than we are cars. But there's all kinds of stuff on our channel, and I think you'll like it if you go back and check it out. I've got a couple videos coming up on the Magnum. We did replace the headlights, and I've got a grill for it too. Uh, that i need to put in so that'll be coming up here pretty soon because it's a pretty easy project and uh yeah just just a little peek ahead and remember september we got hot rod drag week 2022 so i've really got to get started uh pulling the engine transmission out of the dakota so we can get that transmission rebuilt get a oil pan put on it that's a little shorter and uh, get ready for that drive so thanks as always your time's the incredibly important and if you spend it watching this video thank you from the bottom of my heart and uh, we'll see you next time again until next time you know the deal y'all be good <laughs>